retract the cheeks and then it makes everything much easier. Edentula scanning is something, you know, of interest for a lot of people. And this is probably the, the hardest scan to do properly because you need meticulous scan strategy. You need to know what you're doing and you need to retract the soft tissue very well. Once again, if I gave you an edentulous model on a bench and I told you to scan it, it's quite easy. The issue people have with scanning edentulous model, uh, scans inside the mouth intraorally is the soft tissue management because they don't retract the soft tissues enough. And oftentimes I even get the patient to use cheek retractors and hold them, especially for the lower if it's a resorbed arch. Just retract the cheeks and then it makes everything much easier. And you have your DA to help control the tongue. Now, very briefly, let's go over the scan strategy for a maxillary arch. You always start on the rugae, okay, because that is where most of the, the really key information and, and obvious landmarks for the scanner are, this rugae area. Because if you imagine, if you scan this, it kind of looks the same as this, so you can start getting stitching areas, errors. So if you start here, it gives the scanner more data to be able to basically connect all the images together. So you start on the rugae and how it works is you basically move along this, this area and build that, that whole scan up. And then you continue to go back to the rugae, scan more of the maxillary arch, scan more of the residual ridge, start moving towards the buckle. And then lastly, you scan the palate. And look, there's all sorts of different scan strategies, scan strategies out there for scanning edentulous arches. I know Professor Lo Rousseau has some, every company has some. The most important thing is that you follow some strategy rather than just trying to do it haphazardly. A lower mandibular edentulous ridge is one of the hardest things to scan because you have the tongue. This is often very resorbed. Uh, you have the floor of the mouth moving up and down and you have the cheeks. And the key in scanning this is just soft tissue control retract the cheeks and hold the tongue really well any way you can i like to use a mirror there's scan mate um, there's a lot of different tools that you can use to retract but the key part is is that if you scan an area and then the tongue moves and the floor of the mouth moves and it's basically changed that area for the scanner it makes it very hard to continue you need everything to be immobile, essentially, and it makes it quite an easy scan to do. Dry the area and scan it. And where you start on the lower arch is the retromolar pad, and you just treat it like your normal full arch scan. You go around the arch, and you go across, rotate, and then scan the buckle. Oftentimes, these ridges are so resorbed, you scan the buckle and the occlusal in one pass. You don't need to do occlusal, buckle, and then lingual. Oftentimes, after you've just done two passes, you scan the whole ridge, again, because it's often very resorbed. A common question is bite registration for the, for the edentulous patient, how do I do it? And the answer is you need some sort of bite rim or old denture or something like that. You know, if you have a patient who just comes in with no dentures, no bite rim, and they're completely edentulous, you're going to have to send it to the lab to make something to capture that bite. And Medit software has incredible features for scanning dentures. And they even explain it to you right there in the software. And how you do this, how you scan a denture on the Medit software is you start in the intaglio surface of the denture. And why you do that is because that is the rough surface. You don't want to start on the outside surface, which is usually highly polished. And so you scan the entire intaglio, as you can see there, and note, you are scanning this outside the mouth because obviously you're scanning the, the fitting surface. And then you rotate across and then you scan the, the buckle, you scan all the teeth, you scan the occlusal, as you can see there. And what you can also see is what the Medit software does, which is really cool, is that once you scan the intaglio surface, it can recognize the fitting surface to your edentula scan and it will join it together for you, which is a really cool feature. This is the same example for the lower denture. Scan the fitting surface first, rotate, start scanning some of those flanges, and you can see automatically it has already aligned that with the model scan. So then becomes the question, what if the denture is loose? Sometimes patients come in and their denture is very old and it's very loose, and you simply do a pickup impression. 
This is one of the only times I will do impressions in my practice, and it's for a pickup impression of a denture. And then you scan that. So it's very straightforward. 